So here's today's live stream on Darkest Dungeon, and it's the uh, Samsung S95B is on your right, and the 65-inch, that's a 65-inch television, and then the Samsung QN90B on the left, and the 85-inch. Uh, it's pretty much bright daylight in here. Not that much reflection with the windows open, but I wanted to capture it. I had a little interesting surprise this morning, and I'll show you. I'm going to my settings, going to my uh, support to show my software. And surprise, lo and behold, I was updated to the 1430 this morning. So this update we've been waiting for for so long to, to pop off, finally did on my QN90B. But you probably can't see it from the camera, but if you look closely, you'll see the S95B did not update. So I don't know what that's about. For this particular game, I spent a good deal of time, uh, we're on the Darkest Dungeon Part 3, which you can see on the live stream if you are interested, but uh, when I went to play it on my televisions this morning, I had a bit of a surprise in that the QN90B, uh, the QN90B on the left looked infinitely superior to the S95B on the right, and that shouldn't be the case considering it's a very, it's a dark uh, game. You know, it's, for what it is, it's, it's meant to be dark. So let's go back in there and see if I can get them in sync here. Pretty close. So anyway, um, I know what you can see on the picture quality, but it's interesting. I had to do a lot of adjustments to S95B to make it look as good as QN90B. I think I got it. Uh, but it wasn't easy. I had both set in moving mode with contrast enhancer totally off. Uh, various, the color setting was on standard where I had left it for watching video. So we're watching a live stream, but it doesn't go into to game mode, which would probably optimize the image. When you're watching on the television, it's obviously going to stay in one of your regular modes, and we had it on movie mode. So just to show out of, you know, for curiosity's sake, for those of you who may be interested on the, the settings, just to show what I had to do in order to get this S95B looking as sweet and sharp and uh, colorful this morning as the uh, QN90B with the new update I'm, I'm getting, uh, I, I went into the settings. They're both in movie mode. I had to maximize brightness on, I didn't do it on QN90B because it was already brighter. But um, I had to maximize color. Uh, I went ahead and did that on both TVs. But I've never had to, I don't recall ever having to do that on S95B before. And I put contrast enhancer. Uh, contrast enhancer on high on the S95B that brought it into range where there was enough brightness and I ended up putting it on low uh, I usually have it off on QN90B but I want them to look as close as possible and see you know what I can do to get the image a gamma 2.2 on both of them shadow detail on one so you know if you can see that those are the settings I ended up with Annihilate. 
it still seemed to, it still seems a bit darker on S95B, but not much. And I think I've got the, um, the colors dialed in, so they both look very similar. I normally would never crank the color like that on this TV. For some reason, it's just reading it that way. Cannot wait to see what 1430 update looks like. I want to see my S95B with the new firmware. I've been waiting for that and waiting for it. I have no idea why, I didn't, why they dropped the QN90B and not the S95B. QN90B already looks great, so I don't know why. But anyway, that's where it's at. I'll do a little bit of a close-up here before I get off. S95B in direct sunlight. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Yeah, 90 b sort of made to handle that, but the sunlight's not glaring on it. There was a little bit of a rainbow glare coming off it a little while ago, but I don't see it now. Barely. See what happens if I close the blinds on the S95B. Get that sun off of it. Let's see what the advantage goes. To, what happens when the advantage goes to S95B? OLED advantage. Here we go. Now what I'm seeing on the, the camera, what I'm seeing on the TV is a dark orange image. What it looks like on the uh, camera is uh, bright white with pink background. Well, they have the pinkish background, but it's just odd how, how different what I see on the camera is from what I see in, in person. About the same here. So it's interesting even just, even just to compare a static image like this. I get so much, uh, I get so many comments about S95B, it really is a, a fire starter of a television. I mean, I get, every day I'll get at least a couple of, of uh, comments or messages hating on it, or a couple that love it, and it's almost a, um, it's just, it, it causes uh, a lot of uh, consternation for people. You either love it or you hate it, it seems. QN90B, I don't seem to get that. I get a lot of people that will bash on it talking about how it's pedestrian in comparison to the S95B, but I don't think so at all. I mean, uh, what I think here is that this beautiful QN90B QD OLED delivers on, a, on the daily on all types of media and of course, the uh, Samsung S95B will outperform when it comes to dark stuff, generally speaking. This being an unusual, uh, uh, some unusual footage apparently today. I could show vi more video to the effect. I've shown quite a bit, but on the daily, uh, the QN90B though delivers on everything. I could do, I can watch everything on it, and it it's sufficient. Uh, if you go back and look at some of the streams, or not the streams, but the uh, the video gaming we've done, I did a series on the Wolfenstein, uh, the New Order, and the first the first seven were or the first six were uh, on the S95B, and then the next six were on uh, done on the QN90B. That was just for purposes of people who, who like the game like we do. And so you can look back and see, hey, which one do you prefer? Which one would you rather watch it on? 
I'd be interested to hear some feedback on that. So far, I haven't had any. I'd like to have people that are aware of what's going on on this channel notice what I'm doing and hopefully, you know, take some sort of a lesson or meaning from it. Anyway, let me know in your comments if you have watched some of those videos and what your thoughts are in comparison. Uh, I've bashed a little bit on S95B over the pink, the pink backgrounds. I've had people claim that that only appears on camera, but that's not true. I've noticed that the pink in the background is almost always there on anything that's white. It's only a minor amount and it doesn't detract and it often seems to be picking up extra color that you're not grabbing on your other television, but but really it is it is I believe uh, a big part of the uh, the pink the pink tint that they put on the front of this TV. And it seems that this is going to be the only version of the uh, QD OLED that has that pink uh, tint. So I'm, I think it's kind of interesting to have it in the collection of TVs, which I have here, <laughs> because uh, you know the new model coming out is supposed to be flat black, matte black, or gloss black, more similar to the um, LG OLEDs. So maybe we have the one-off, the one year where they had the pink, uh, the pink uh, background. It's pretty cool definitely doesn't make me hate or just you know feel like I, I have to get away from this TV because it just makes me sick because I can't stand this or that just like the QN 90 B here if it has occasionally shown me a little um, a little bit of blooming it's not much but occasionally when I do see blooming on there it doesn't offend me you know deeply to where I have to say I have to have pure OLED it's just preposterous to think that way you know there's there's good in both you know, there's, you don't need to be in one camp or the other. Own both. That's what I do.